Have you ever wondered how much juice there's left in your lithium iron phosphate battery? How much power your trolling motor or your boat actually is using? This is a lithium iron phosphate battery from Sienk brand, doesn't matter. The point is, it doesn't have Bluetooth. There's no way for us to know how much power is left. It's like that with most batteries. Until your motor dies in the middle of the lake or your fridge shuts down in your camper. This is a monitor connected to what's called a shunt. The shunt is the black thing in between the negative wires right there. Now the shunt is connected to the monitor. So let's say you're running your trolling motor or your RV appliances. The monitor will count the amp hours used. That way you will keep track of your battery's actual capacity. That means you always know how much power you have left. If you were using a lead acid battery, you could measure the voltage because it has a curve like this. Let's see where we're at that curve by reading the voltage. But with lithium ion phosphate, the curve goes like this. There's really no way of knowing if you're at 90% or 10% without a monitor. Now, installation is pretty simple. You just connect your shunt to your battery's negative terminal, run a couple of small wires to the display, and you have a pretty smart battery monitor. This is one of the cheapest shunts with the monitors you can buy. I know Wickdrum has got some really nice ones with Bluetooth even. Let's demonstrate. I built this little box to be used in my uh, load test station for my batteries. Let's just connect a load. We're going to use the capacity tester to draw a little power. If you connect your monitor, there's just one button. You need to set your fully charged voltage and your cutoff voltage. Then you zero out everything else. It's pretty simple. I will leave a link to this exact monitor and shunt. You can check out on Amazon and there is a nice little video demonstrating how to connect everything. Okay, let's put a load. They were drawing. Okay, about 10 amps. Ten point one and ten point one. You can see it count it's counting. Giving us a decent reading of how the battery is performing. You probably know this, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So in this example, we are on a boat. Good at drawing. Uh, this is a trolling motor. Right. The battery back here. 
connected to the shunt on the negative side. You don't have to put the monitor near the shunt. You can run the small cables coming from the shunt down to your console and monitor everything from there, basically. So I drew 10 amps for two minutes. Now let's introduce the charge. Like that. All right, so we're fully charged again. Now, the thing about this particular model is that it's not bidirectional, meaning it will not count your used amp hours down after recharging. So you have to manually reset your capacity after recharging. It's a pain, but it's cheap and it works. So for a trolling motor or something like that, still pretty useful, I think. Anyway, this particular one is just for my capacity testing of batteries. So I am resetting it anyway so yeah i leave links in the description if you want to check it out and i also leave links to the higher end shunts which is smarter anyway this makes your not so smart battery a little smarter So what about you? Have you ever found yourself in the need of a monitor? Ended up with a dead battery? Somehow? Let me know in the comments. If you liked this video or found it interesting or helpful, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. It would uh, really help me with the YouTube algorithm. That way, these videos will spread to more people, which I think would be really fun. YouTube wants you to watch these videos next, so do that.